it going, boys? Mike from LA1 here. And hey, hold on. We got an ad here. I didn't notice that until now. <gasps> Versus Clemson. I'm probably going to do a prediction video on that one soon. Within the next... Oddly enough, that I will do it. And uh, I was going to do this last night. And by the way, yes, I'm playing NHL 14. Which, there's a reason for it. Which will follow in the next video. My Los... As you guys know, I'm a big Los Angeles Kings fan. And I was going to do this video last night, but I was stuttering a lot, and as a result, as, as a result, uh, and also we got some pop-up thunderstorms, so unfortunately we couldn't get this done. Well, last night the Kings made the first blockbuster of possibly two at this point. Yeah, because, yeah, this is the first one. I have a feeling there's probably going to be another one coming out, and man, this is awkward, dude. These guys in Kings uniforms again, guys like Willie Mitchell and Jared Stoll. My boys, actually, the Kings made a trade with the Philadelphia Flyers as they, as, as the Kings acquired Vincent LeCavalier and Luke Shen from the Flyers in exchange for Jordan Wheel and a third round draft pick for this year's draft. And speaking of awkward players, Mike Richards, who signed with the Washington Capitals to join Justin Williams, who's ironically heading to, back to Los Angeles for the first time since he left. Which was a shit, which is a real shame, because I love, Justin was a great king. And I do believe his number 14 is due to be retired in the Raptors very soon, when he retires. And I do, as, as, here's the thing. At the time of this recording, the Kings game against Toronto ended, and the Kings won in a very tough contest with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Shout out to Toronto. They did a terrific, they did, they did absolutely tremendous tonight. They did a tr tremendous, the future for the Maple Leafs are, is definitely looking bright. I don't, where you go, bro? Ugh, shoot, come on, Brownie. Oh, 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 Borchek. Boom, Neil before me. Okay. And, uh. And speaking of which, what do I say? Uh, oh, my God. Fail before Zuck. There we go, Brownie! And run right, right to rub it into the Flyers' bench's face. We're scoring with the captain. Dustin <laughs> Brown. So here's the thing. This is great for center depth. And according to his agent, this will be his last season. Although Vincent LeCavalier said in his uh, said at the introduction press conference when he was meeting with the press, he said he d he's not sure yet. Which means he could potentially play out the rest of his contract. Which, if that's the case, I'm for it because well, Vincent LeCavalier is one of my favorite players to never have worn a Kings uniform. What well, now he is now, and he got his, he didn't wait long to get a, on the score sheet as an LA King, got his first point with the first, the first of the goals for the Kings by uh, Jake Muzzin, with the, assisted by, uh, uh, with an assist with uh, the Jake Muzzin goal, and I forgot who the other one is, and Carter scored, who returned tonight. Woohoo! And, uh, Oh ho ho! Yeah, baby. And actually, the, the and also the Kings with the Kings getting Vincent LeCavalier. The Kings also got some good veteran depth, and he can mentor Nick Shore on how to be a good defenseman, which is uh, a good center. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Ex excuse me. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Vincent LeCavalier has that good veteran depth, and he definitely earned his stripes tonight as an L.A. King tonight. And and also, and as for Luke Shen, Luke Shen, the reason why he's here is because, well, Matt Green, our, one of our alternate, the Kings' alternate captains, and up, oh, Brownie scores again! <laughs> Captain Captain Brownie! With uh, Green and Mitchie. Mitchell. Oh, man. So, here's the... Th the, the fact that Shen is now a king... It, it, it all comes full circle. Since the Kings drafted his brother, Brayden, and we gave him up with the Mike Richards trade, which, come to look of it, was a steep price, but it was worth it. And, although, the one thing I regret about that trade is the fact that Wayne Simmons was involved 
which is a shame because I really like him and I still like him to this day. I'll say if if card if card is score oh man good try. And as and all for you Flyer fans saying that about Jordan Wheel, you guys are gonna like him. He's truly the real deal. No pun intended. And the Brigier just score. Oh my God. Man. The Brigier just score because oh my God. My God, man. And Jordan Wheel. If you got, he was the MVP in the uh, Calder Cup playoffs with the Manchester Monarchs, now the Ontario Reign, which, right at this point, they're tearing it up right now in the uh, American Hockey League right now. And as, as right now, and also as that draft pick, I do believe, since the Kings don't have a first round draft pick next year, I do believe it. Oh, I do believe it. Oh. I do believe the Kings are not done. According to which, the Kings. Might be in the running for Dustin Bufflin and uh, Drew. <laughs> Drew. <laughs> Drew. <laughs> and Jonathan Quick got an assist. And also, I do believe actually the Kings are that it's the future for the Kings organization is in great hands. So, Wheel is a bit of a huge loss, but the Kings, let's not forget, the Kings have one of the best farm systems in the National Hockey League right now, with guys like Adrian Kempa and Alexander Zykov waiting to get the call up, and if that's not crazy enough, and uh, Carter, he scores! <laughs> My god, this is getting ridiculous. And as I was saying, guys like Peter Buda, who, in my opinion, should be a starter by now. This guy is an inc is too talented to be a backup goalie. And backup goalie. But wow, that was uh <laughs> Yeah. So and let's not forget to mention the Kings farm system in the uh in the juniors. Guys like Eric Cerniak and uh Mark Gavalillo of the North Bay Battalion, who many people believe that the Kings have an elite goal scorer in Amalillo. I'm a Dillo and a... Different Kier score again, my god! <laughs> okay, back on topic here. The Kings' future is really bright, so expect a full, three or four Stanley Cup banners within the next few years. Are we going to win this year? I'm saying probably close to a probably not. But it's a uh, wait and see at this point. But right now, I think the Kings have a fair trade. Hopefully the lock up shed because he's a free agent and with the Kopitar deal close to done and they're probably going to talk to Lucic which I think Lucic wants a similar deal that he has with Boston a three year 18 mil so if Shen is cheap and if if Shen is cheap I could see all them locking up all three if Vinny retires the cap hit will be gone I should explain that by the way well I guess that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, I think that Vincent LeCavalier, oh, by the way, Vincent LeCavalier will wear the number 40, 44, because for those of you who are saying, why is he not wearing his number 4? I should explain. Vincent LeCavalier, Rob Blake, who wore number 4 for the Kings for so many years, got his number retired almost a year ago, which is hard to believe. Almost, It's been almost a year ago since he, his number his number got retired. So he wore number 44, which is ironically, because guess who has the puck? Uh, oh my god, should have watched the offsides. Amen. Oh, 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 man, almost. Okay, I do believe the Kings have a great future, great kinds of great futures. Guys like Kempa, Zykov, Zykov, Chris Newberry, Chris Newberry, let me see, who else can I think of? Oh yeah, Nick Dowd, who I think, I think, if I, my memory serves me correctly, If my memory serves me correctly, is he? 
I think his father is he's related to Jim Dowd somehow, I do believe. And yet he's from Huntsville, Alabama for some reason. I do not know why. And also the Kings have two international prospects from Russia right now. And I can't pronounce their names, so I'm because I'm not gonna say it because, well, for one thing, I'm probably gonna butcher it, so uh and I also have, and also for those people say, oh, there's domestic violence. Oh, well, it's just Voilov and uh, or Charnyak and, and with the Manchester Monarchs. So, uh, yeah, what are you going to do? And oh, hold on, one more trip for the road. And Alec Dillon, who's with the Edmonton Oil Kings, even though he's having some growing pains, I do believe he could be a rolling star of the year. Well, that's it from this video, guys. I finally got to stop talking about this. Now, you guys are probably wondering, why am I playing back NHL 14? You're going to find out in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.